Alright, what's happening, my people? So it's your boy, Chance Jolivet, aka Smooth, back with another video. So today, what we're gonna be talking about is Bel Air, episode 8. No one wins when the family fuse. So this right here is gonna be a real interesting episode. We got family secrets coming out. We got old acts being buried, being put in people's backs. Everybody got choices that they making and stuff. Let's go through what the cast is is uh, going through on this episode. So you seen last episode, man. Uh, they had the party. It ended with the party and stuff. Lisa had to save the day. So they pretty much got punished. Carlton is the only one that is punished at this time because it is Will's birthday. So his punishment, he got to go along with his father. He has to, has to play caddy for him when he's playing golf or whatever. And his daddy said some interesting stuff to him, man. He like, yeah, Lisa did save the day, but I did pull some strings with the councilman and, and stuff. I'll move heaven and earth for your future to, to be solidified, for you to have a good future or whatever. Carlton never felt that way. He felt like, oh, y'all did this for Will, you did this for Will, you did this for Will. But he sees that the father and them, they would do whatever for him as well. Like, he's special as well, even though he didn't feel like it or whatever. But that's how this episode starts off, man. I, I like that. Oh, uh, we see Will's mother is back. She comes for, for Will's birthday and stuff. So... He's a mama's boy. They got a good little uh, little thing thing going. We're going to get some family secrets. We're going to see why Veal and Vi don't like each other. Did I say Veal? Why Veal and Vi don't like each other and stuff, man. Uh, Hillary. This episode. My boo. My boo, Hillary. Ooh. But she got her Thirsty Chef stuff going on. And it's... It's a, a, a difficult choice for her. Like, will I continue to do this and have this success? Will I go against my family's wishes? Uh, what's going to be my thing? So she has pressure on her. When you going to make, your, make your, your next post? Your other one got three million and this and that. Your other one's never did this good and this and that. And she's being pressured to, to it. She's like, I'm going to do it in due time. So, is follow your heart or follow business so eh, eh, eh. then we, we go back to the golf course and so Phil is talking to, to councilman Hernandez or whatever he is and he's like will you will you endorse me or whatever he's like you gotta get your family in, in order and then the way that y'all going y'all are spit, splitting the democratic vote in half like you are a uh, uh, homeboy Fred y'all gotta Get it together. Both of y'all to split the vote. And I don't know which one I'm gonna gonna endorse because you have a lot of things going on right now. Your wife has disappeared. Your son is throwing parties and stuff. Your little girl is on the internet naked. Like you gotta get your house in order. And it's a lot of pressure pressure on on Phil because like he doing everything in his power and he don't wanna overpower everybody else, but they making it hard for him. A big backdrop of this episode is Will. We're gonna, we need to tell you about your father. Tell you about your father. That's what everybody's saying in the background. Should, we should tell Will about his father. No, don't tell Will about his father. We should tell Will about his father. No, don't. So it's like, what's the deal with this brother? With this brother Lou? We find out his name. That's pretty much it. It's like, we know on the original series, the daddy, he was a truck driver or something. That nigga was no good. But this one right here, what is the, the big secret? And it's like, it's going to set Will back and this and that. Like, what did this brother do? Like, that... Mm -mm. Uh, we see Lisa, whenever they, they bring uh, Vi to the house. Uh, Lisa is in the pool pool house. She's chilling, waiting on Will, trying to get their little uh, afternoon freak on her, I guess. But he like, nah, chill. My, my mom is, is out there and this and that. Uh, something that I want I want to tackle because I I want to been been tackle this, but I forget every episode. Like there's a lot of scrutiny online about uh about Lisa because the original Lisa 
was Nia Long. So he's like, that's not no Nia Long in this net. Who is Nia Long? They don't have too many Nia Longs in the world. And she finds his wine right now. But look, 20 years ago? Good God. So, yeah, this Lisa right here, she isn't the traditional beauty or whatever. She's not an ugly girl or whatever, but it's like, damn, y'all trying to put her up there with Nia Long. Like, there's not too many Nia Longs and stuff. So, it's, it's like unfair, unfair of of uh of that those expectations and stuff and to be honest like i watched the old old will the old fresh prince and stuff i know they was about to get married then then his mother ended up marrying lisa's daddy or something it was weird but like i forgot that the old lisa was near alone or that the new one was supposed to be near alone character or something she wasn't that important to me back then like he had a lot of fine ones he had tyra banks fool but uh yeah the family, the family got beef. So, the name of the episode is No One Wins When The Family Feuds. The Family Feud. Vi and Viv, they just have, they butt heads. There is something in their past and they can't get over it. Like, Viv is doing good right now, but Vi had to sacrifice so much. She resents her for it. She thinks that, that Viv is bougie. And this and that, she's trying to take her child from her, and she always got to upstage her. So there's a lot of stuff that they got to get together. Uh, Hillary, she she decides, I'm going to go forth with my videos and stuff. Uh, she crushed her daddy with that. She like, he like, you still going to do this? You know I, I'm running, and this is my campaign, and this and that. She's like, it's business, it's smart business. But then her mother says something. That really strikes a chord. She's like, is this you? Like, you look at me, is this, is this really you? And like that, I think that's what finally got through to her. But man, she she crushed her, oh, Phil was hurt. Because that's his baby, honeybee, honeybee. Like, he loves him some Hillary. But Hillary, like, I'm going to still do my business or whatever. Like, But then it's, it's like, uh, they, they mentioned it. She never had to do anything... She always, she never had to do anything for a check and stuff. She always had it in this and that. So, whenever she finally in this position or whatever, it's like, huh, she don't know what to do, making bad decisions or whatever. Phil and Fred, they, they finally get together. He had told Jeffrey to go go deliver Fred this message or whatever. So, they make a deal. This last uh, our debate, Whoever wins the debate, that's who's gonna win the the, uh, the nomination. I'll step out and put hundred percent support behind you if you if you win this debate. If I win, the same thing. So hopefully that's gonna be the end of it. They can get back cool or whatever. Uh, put uh get the families back together. Will and Lisa ain't gotta sneak around and this and that. We shall see. Uh, as I just as I just said about Hillary, man, Hillary has a a pattern of quitting. Cause homeboy talks to you like you had these other personalities that you tried online. You did this and you you dropped out of college. You you did this and you dropped out. You always quit. You a quitter. I I had a feeling that I got you these sponsorships and this and that, and you were gonna you were gonna quit. That's your pattern, and so. He, he, he right about it. He right about it. We we finally find out like kind of like about Will's father. They go out to dinner and this and that. They at the beach. Uh, Viv is stunting. Yo, they had Christine Aguilera up in here. Yo, the other week they had they had uh they had Riri up in here and this and that. Oh, you take my my son to these fancy places all the time and this and that. But anyways. So they go outside, they go walk around, walk around the beach or whatever. Look, I'm not a child anymore. Like, tell me about my father. Like, she doesn't want to to really, like, talk about him. Because I guess she thinks it's going to stain, like, Will. He's, he might feel like he's something like his father and mess up his perception of himself. Because his father messed things up. She had to clean up his mess and this and that. Will has messed up, and they had to clean up his mess. And it turned out like he he was like a gambler, 
and like a schemer and this and that. And whenever he couldn't use Vi anymore, he ran away. So they don't. They, I guess they don't want Will to maybe look for him, try to build a relationship, and he gets used, or I just feel like there's something wrong with him. He might have some of those same characteristics and mess him up in life or whatever. It's it's a weird dynamic with this. I guess we might see Lou at the end of the season or, or not. We'll see. Will birthday. They got the party going on. Everybody is, is out there. They're waiting on food. So they, they end up opening the gifts. Vi gives Will a picture of when whenever he was a baby. And he's he like, who took the picture? Who took the picture? Evidently, it probably was Lou. Because they're like, uh, let's change the subject. Uh, on Viv, she ends up getting them some Jordan 5 off-whites signed by Michael Jordan. Chill. Hey, it's a good family. Can they adopt a brother? Can they adopt? That there, brother. I want some off white fives too. But, anyways, so that makes Vi, she's incense. Like, you always got to try to show me up in this net. And they butt heads, we see what it is. Like, you always got to upstage me. You didn't climb to the top of the mountain. You've been pushed up. I supported you. Mama supported you. Mama supported you. Phil supported you. And she like, why do you hold this against me and stuff? And then they go out and talk. And Carlton is the one that actually talks sense in the Viv. Like, why do y'all have this or whatever? Uh, maybe she's hurt. She ain't hurt. She hard as steel. She did this on her own and this on her own, this on her own. Then she like, hold up. Damn, she did this on her own. She raised Will on her own. She put herself through college on her own. She raised, she, uh, uh, watched Mama on her own when she was dying. So it's like, damn. Like, yeah, we sent money and stuff, but she was there. And so... Yeah, she she probably resents us because it's like, man, she had a lot on her plate, a lot to do. So they finally kind of get it together, man. Like Will and them is talking. He's talking to his mother. Then Viv come up. They apologize to each other. They finally had order on one accord. Seemed like it. And this, it trickles down to the to the other family members as well, because Carlton and Will they been had this same kind of dynamic, also, and. Carlton is looking at the situation, and then they, they mention things about uh both of them always wanted brothers. So Will always wanted a brother, Carlton always wanted a brother, and they like, I got my brother. I got my brother, like, y'all, you my brother and stuff. And so they, they finally kind of bury the axe, like, oh, it was hard whenever you came. Because I was working so hard to get my grades up, to win championships in, in, uh, in lacrosse, whatever it is. Uh, so we... It, it was so hard, and everything came so easy to you. And then you took my ex girl. So they they go through through that, and the only thing with Will, he's like, "Look, we could we could be cool. Like I I love that we're gonna be cool and stuff. But you just gotta get over Lisa. Like me and Lisa, we gonna be together. We like each other. So and Carlton's like, that's cool. It's cool because." We've been going for for a minute or whatever, and like it's not gonna happen. I'm glad that she with somebody. Just don't hurt her. So that's good. So maybe we can like Carlton from this moment on. Maybe he he won't be such a little dick, but we shall see. Jeffrey, the end of this episode, Jeffrey looked like he I don't know looked like he about to resign or something. He has a letter and he's going to put it on Phil, Phil's desk, and Will stops him. But early on in the episode. Phil was like, go find Will's father, Lou, and you tell him. Like, don't come around here. You keep him away. The crazy thing is, like, I don't think Lou was looking for Will or something anyway. And so them going to Lou is probably going to lead Lou to come to them. And, oh, y'all in Bel Air, y'all rich now. Let me Will. Ah. So it's probably going to be that in the future. But the thing about it is, Jeffrey has a child as well. And he like, what if, what if somebody told you to stay away from Carlson, to stay away from your child? What would you do? You work for me. You're going to do what I say. Oh, okay. So that dynamic, like somebody telling you something like that, is like, I can't be part of this. So it looks like he was putting a resignation letter on the desk. But Will uh, goes at him before he can put it on the desk. And he's like, yo, 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 G, yo, G, 
uh, man, can you can you do me a favor, man? Can you you find my father for me? He's like, I will do my best. I uh, so I think he's he's going to do the opposite of what uh, Phil wanted, and he's gonna find Lou and let he gonna let Will have the option of knowing do you want your father in your life? So maybe the next episode we might see see Lou. Or maybe on the finale or whatever, we'll see if uh if Jabari Banks has the chops that Will had. Yo, I don't need no father. I taught myself how to play basketball. I, I'm gonna be a better father than ever will be. Why you don't want me? Why you don't want me? See, I could have won the Oscar. I could have won the Oscar. Right? But anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Go be the greatest, the most hate me. I let you boy. Peace.